Let's go. Oh, try that. Okay. Top 10 tips. Some of you have seen something like this. It's been updated. It's been changed a little bit. My top 10 tip number one is check your credit report. This is so useful. Statutory credit report. What is on there you should know about? If it's something's on there that you don't know about, there might be a problem. Check and cross-reference your credit agreements, fraud, and activity, fraud activity, cancel all credit agreements. If you've got a credit card that you've had for ages, get rid of it. Probably don't need it. Get rid of it. Might have an effect on borrowing in the future. Never, ever, ever. This is one thing you should do. Never, ever, ever withdraw cash on credit cards. Lenders deem them as stressed. You're in a stressed financial situation. It's like going to Wonga. You can't go to Wonga anymore because it's shut down. But don't ever do it. It's a bad thing. I mentioned there, pay payday loans. Be consistent. Your name and initials. Uh, uh, make sure you're on the electoral roll. Good for lenders. They like people who are citizens, who register on electoral rolls, who do their democratic duty, among other things. They like boring and stable. And they should be free. You don't have to pay. Sign up for flashy lights. It's 9 95 Subscribe here. None of that. Free. Don't click on any buttons. Just get your statutory credit report. Need hand with it? Let me know. I can help. Right. Similarly, check all bank statements. All right. So, number of things across here. Again, check and cross reference for fraud activity. You know, I see, you know, when I, when I first meet clients, I do a, whatever they are credit check and bank statements. Save a load of money because there's always something on there that they don't need anymore. Magazine subscriptions, gym memberships. When did you last go? Mm, can't remember. Well, really, do you need it? Um, Central Alliance cover, I, I get it if you're on your own and, you know, it's reliability, but we're all in networks. I guess we all know plumbers. Um, credit report subscriptions, get rid of them. Frivolous spending, that is supposed to be a coffee cup. Um, it looks like a coffee cup. So if you spend three quid a day or six pound a day or nine pound a day, it adds up, all right? Look after the pennies, the pounds will look after themselves. Right. What's the next slide? I can't remember. All right, tip number three, opt in, opt out box. Our, um, Always use this. Uh, everybody's after your data. Um, Leo, no, we, you know, we've just had a data breach recently. Um, I had a client who was a victim of honey trap. You know, it was a um, divorcee and he fell for it and he got wiped out. I, I eventually put a stop to it. I said, look, are you sure this is right? but money had gone before then. Register with a TPS, Telephone Preference Service. If you still have a landline, you know, you'll stop those. Calls from reputable marketing agencies. The cowboys will still ring you. Um, okay. Uh, one thing about um, security and, and things like that. Um, Lee mentioned a, an issue today. A lot of financial companies don't use their own proprietary software for managing um, their portals, their client portals, okay? They, they, use a, they use a couple of companies, right? A lot of, lot of investment and pension companies use two companies to manage their portals between you and, and what you've got effectively. If anything happens with those companies, there's a lot of people are gonna be worried. Um, some companies have got their own proprietary lockdown, um, and just not as just not as vulnerable. You know, the, the attackers won't spend so much time attacking one company. They will want to attack potentially companies that feed a lot of information out to uh, to multiple um, providers. Hope that makes sense. Uh, next, okay. Have you wits about you? All right. Um, beware of scammers and unregulated activity. Pe nobody in this business should be calling you saying, "Have you got a pension? Do you want do you?" Want do you want to buy, do you want to move it? Do you want to access it? Those days are gone. It's not professional. It won't happen. Don't be fooled by cryptocurrencies. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not a social media person, as you know, but I would imagine there's loads of adverts and stuff like that. It's the Wild West. It's not, it's unregulated. Um, buyer beware. Could all go. Um, yeah, if any doubts, check the FCI, FCA website, the Scan Smart for a 
regulated, um, you know, authorised uh, intermediary advisor. Install your software updates, use LastPass, potentially use a VPN. Uh, that's a, I've heard of it, but it, it just potentially, criminals might use them, but you might have a genuine reason to want to use them anyway. Uh, use banking apps, much more secure. Always log out and close the browser. Beware of my, you guys are all learned, you'll know this, but sadly I have some, you know, elderly, vulnerable clients, they get the phone call, oh, you've had a return from Amazon, did it go very well? You know, and people who use Amazon a lot, or Microsoft, you know the story, oh, let me just check that we can, that you've received it, and they get into the spin, so sad. Uh, I'd like to be in a room with them with a baseball bat at times, I must say. Uh, I didn't say that really. It's been recorded. It's too bad. Edit. Sort it out in editing. All right. Tip number five. Update and write your will and your POA's powers of attorney. I don't do these, but they're an integral part of the business when I'm working with a client. It's just adding value to what they do and, and making sure that the plans I put in place for them are, are correct because it, it, it does assist in protecting their estates. Um, intestancy. If if you, die, if, you, if you haven't got a will, you die in test state. Who gets what? Well, the law says you don't decide because you're, you're not written it down. Do a will. Uh, there has been new legislation. It's been out a bit now, but um, it's a reminder to say, if you've got an existing will, is it still fit for purpose? Passage of time, generational slippage. You know, um, some members aren't in your circle anymore. You know, sadly, from passing away and things like that. You have new relationships. If you've done one years ago, you'll have increased wealth. Things might be different. There might be children or grandchildren around. Key thing to remember, marriage revokes an, ex an existing will. You may or not be aware of that. Two types of power of attorney, property and financial. That is one. Health and welfare is the other. Property and financial can be used as soon as it's registered. Health and welfare can only be used when the donor has lost capacity. Okay. Um, you can also use third party authorizations, but the proper power of attorney is better. It just protects the donor better. Uh, and if you did a power of attorney between the 1st of April 2013 and 31st of March 2017, you are allowed a refund. There is, there's costs have lowered, and you can get a refund if you did a power of attorney between those two dates. Um, next slide. Right. Check your saving and cash ISA rates. When I did this, probably about two or three years ago, Bank of England base rates were on the floor. You know, with quantitative easing, COVID, all that. We all know it wasn't that long ago. Base rates were quarter of a percent. Four and a half percent now. A mixture of Putin bearing his chest and trying to expand the sphere of influence. Uh, Trust of Kwarteng's experiment later last year. I don't know why there's an icon of a train there. I'm not that clever, it automatically did it. But anyway, it's led to global energy insecurity. Um, inflation, it's come down. What do you mean it's come down to 8.7%? I mean, you, know, you wouldn't have thought that sort of 12, 18 months ago. Um, it's come down from 10.2. I mean, it's ridiculous. Which means whatever you've got in the bank, it's not keeping pace with inflation. <laughs> Even if you're on the best, best rate, you're losing money. Particularly if you've got a lot of money stuck on deposit in cash, not in the markets. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Every, everyone's got a place for cash. There is a place for it. Everyone needs it. But don't have too much in there. Bank of England base rate is 4.5%. Uh, we're expected at least another half percent increase uh, to get this pesky inflation down. Um, I checked very early hours of this morning, hot off the press, and the Principality Building Society have got the best rate for an easy access um, product of 3.88%. Just seen that. Tandem, who are they? I don't know, but they've got a banking license. So the kosher, they can do 5.3 fixed for three years. Okay, it's 5.3, still behind inflation, and you're tying your money up for three years. I've put regular savings con asterisk of 7%. You see these headline rates. Oh, regular savings, get this. You get, they get the headline rate on the first month, yeah? The next month, you get 11 12 The next month, you get 
10 12s. The next month you get nine 12s. Next month you get eight 12s. I did a spreadsheet and looked and sort of worked out the average rate. Um, it's about four and a bit. It's a con. Um, right. For younger members of our audience, um, Daisy, uh, get a lifetime ice there. 25% bonus for first time buyers aged between 18 and 39. That is correct, under 40s. So and you can only have a ISA, an equity ISA when you become 18 anyway. So they are the correct thing. Only to be used for property. Use it for anything like that. You loot if you withdraw it to do a balloon ride, you lose your bonus. It's only for property purchase. Okay. How we do for time? Uh eight just over eight and a half minutes, a couple of minutes left, Mark. Okay. Tip number seven, check those mortgage loan rights. Yes, Heather, they are going through the roof. Last week, I had email after email. We are withdrawing our rates. We are giving you not 24 hours notice. We are giving you two hours notice before the end of the day. It's three o'clock now. By five o'clock, these rates will be pulled. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, they're being replaced by higher rates, but fewer of them. Typically half a point higher, sometimes 0.8 higher. The best 60% loan to value out there at the moment is two year fixed at 4.54. But you know what? You can get a five year fixed at 4.24. 12 months ago, these rates probably, you know, two and a bit percent. You got to keep on top of your stuff, guys. If you don't like me, don't use me, but do use a, an advisor or a mortgage broker. Make sure you're on top of your borrowing. Uh, credit cards, nobody should be having a gazillion of something thousands on a credit card uh, at paying interest. Do a 0% balance transfer. Um, they are out there. If you're doing the right thing, signing up, you know, on the voters roll, paying your bills, being a citizen, doing the things that you should be doing, doing being stable and boring, you will get 0% balance transfers. Um, I've put in there complex prime, second income, credit, but unused properties, reason for borrowing. Use a broker who knows what they're doing. This one here. All right, uh, next slide. I've, I've moved this thing, what does it say? Oh, tip number eight, check your equity ice as investments. Okay, make sure, are you going for income or growth? Do you know what you're doing? You know, it's like, uh, make sure you're doing the right thing. Make sure you're not in a dog fund. Something that was great when somebody from the bank sold it you 20 years ago, they're not around anymore. Time goes on. Make sure you're not in a dog fund. ATI's attitude to risk and asset allocation. These are the kind of things that financial advisors do. Ensure that you are, um, you're in the right environment, the right uh, investment for your attitude to risk. Um, you're in the right sector exposure. You can all read those, you know what they are. Global markets go through them. US is US, UK is UK. EZ is the Eurozone, not us anymore. You know, great decision 2016. How's that going, Boris? Uh, BRIC is Brazil, Russia, India, China. Asia is the um, um, Southeast Asian markets. EM is Asian emerging markets. You may or may not want to be in them. If you use an advisor, discuss that with you. Make sure and an advisor will know what your lifestyle needs are, your goals and objectives, because that is what they'll be helping you achieve. And they'll be looking at your net asset position and your investment experience to ensure that what you have, you're comfortable with, and you're not in some get quick rich fund that you shouldn't be in. Um, okay, um, next slide. Check your pensions as well. Ditto with the dog fund. These are set up years ago, potentially, or maybe, when you first became employed somewhere. It's in a fund that you may know nothing about, didn't have any choice about, not as worldly wise as you are now, maybe that wouldn't choose now if, you, if you're doing it now. Ensure that you're not in a dog fund. Legacy pensions can be expensively charged. Um, old DB scheme, defined benefit scheme, there are issues there. Make sure you use an advisor to review any uh, DB schemes. Make sure you do an expression of wish. Trust, uh, pensions based on the trust, there's a pot of money there. If you're not around, it goes somewhere. Make sure it's gonna go to the people you want. Complete an expression of wish. Um, <clears throat> pension freedoms, one good thing Osborne did. Um, flexible access, allowed people to semi-retire. A lot of my clients, maybe you guys potentially. Um, it allows you to shape your own retirement. I do a lot of this. 
um, looking at different pots of assets for clients um, to try and, if I can, make them nil, bait, nil rate taxpayers in retirement or certainly basic rate taxpayers. Taxable business expense, pension contributions, get them in. You can use them to commercial property purchase, various SIPs or SASs, and they are exempt from inheritance tax. What better? Mark, sorry to interrupt, chap. We've run out of time. All right. That's good, because on the next slide, it says, just keep calm and carry on. Check, check, check. Make a list. Check it twice. If in doubt, ask somebody who knows what they're doing. Uh, right. I will stop there.